should have kept a secret. Please don't keep no secret. Welcome, everyone. I wanted to give a quick summary of Secret Spaces with Alex Zadelson today. And Secret Spaces, you can find it on the Secret Network Twitter. And it's, I believe, a weekly call where they introduce projects, talk about what's going on in the network. And this was a very bullish call because Alex Zadelson is the new CEO of Secret Network. And he was talking about the roadmap that's going to be coming within two to three weeks. Might be give or take a week. I have a few notes about what was being discussed. And I think it further emphasizes how bullish I am on Secret Network and how bullish people should be on Secret Network. There's a lot of things happening. And uh, the idea is the sum summary of what's going on is we're going to EVM. We're going to be providing a lot of privacy solutions for Ethereum-based projects. Well, obviously, this is built on Cosmos SDK. We're staying on Cosmos SDK. But we are truly becoming the interoperable cryptocurrency for privacy. And some of the things that we can look forward to is confidential ERC-20 balances. So we're going to be able to offer Ethereum customers or people that use the Ethereum platform. If you've ever gone to an Ethereum Explorer and you type in an address, you'll be able to see all the ERC-20 token balances for that particular person. But certain projects can integrate secret network privacy to allow those balances to be hidden. So all of a sudden, you have people, maybe founders of projects, that may want to hide or create some anonymity as to token balances and what happens with said token at given dates. While you know some people may use this technology to rug, but there's also some security aspects to it. Because if you're a founder for an ERC-20 project and you know, I don't know, you may want to sell at certain times. Uh, you, you may have living expenses like everyone else. And every time you sell or every time you move a certain currency, I'm not sure that it's completely right to have all your all your moves, all your moves broadcasted in a way. And that lack of privacy prevents a lot of people from creating projects that they'd like to do. Everyone is entitled to sell. I think that's there should be a lot more information. People should be transparent when they're creating projects. But it's also incumbent on the consumer to understand what, that they're, what they're investing in. But at the same time, not everyone should feel like their entire balance is an open book. There are scammers out there, but they're all also genuine people that don't want you seeing when they're using their cryptocurrency to buy groceries or something like that. So that's wonderful. Uh, another big use case that he talked about was account abstraction. Account abstraction is going to decrease the barrier to entry for newbies that are coming within the crypto market. So if you're familiar with the mnemonic, phases, uh, mnemonic phrases or seed phrases, this is phrases that you create when you have custody over your own wallet. So if you're not holding your crypto on an exchange, you have your own wallet, you have your own ledger, you have that seed phrase, those 12 or 24 words. And basically what Alex is saying is that we're going to be able to offer, of course, solutions. There's, an, uh, there's a paper called the Unstoppable Wallets paper from Secret Network. Um, and we're going to be able to offer solutions to Secret Network customers, of course. So you're going to be able to back your seed phrase to the Secret Network bot blockchain. It's going to be completely secure, and you won't have to keep your seed phrase or your mnemonic phrase in your house somewhere or in a safe, or you're worried about this, you're worried about that. It's going to be backed up onto the chain, which is wonderful for people that are getting in and, you know, maybe they don't want to hold custody of their own wallet. Maybe they just want it to be backed on chain so you know you may have a small balance wallet where you don't even want to worry about having that other 12 24 word seed phrase you just want to back it up but this account protection using the privacy of secret network is going to extend to erc20 wallets so that's the idea to allow people that are creating ethereum wallets to also have that account abstraction so it's going to be backed up to the secret network blockchain their seed phrase and they're going to be integrating and creating their their wallet and not have to worry about that seed phrase you know people barely keep their own passwords for their own bank accounts so if we really want to reach the masses we're going to have to decrease the barrier to entry and it's on it's incumbent on that person whether or not they're going to use this technology or not and i think this is wonderful and there was a, a, a 
the, the thesis is that everyone's going to be using or a lot of people are going to be using secret network without even realizing that they're using secret network. So this is wonderful. He talked about privacy pools. He also talked about uh, dark pools. And something that was interesting was also smart contracts for ERC-20 projects. They're going to be able to use the privacy features. I don't know if you're familiar with secret VRF, random generator, random number generator to randomize information in its true randomness because it's private. There's not a single person giving you the input information. It is queried on chain and you're able to get random information, random number, a random number generator in order to, I don't know, have sweepstakes on your project or distribute NFTs or distribute this or do this and that. There are lots of different use cases for this. And I think that's wonderful. And uh, being able as an ERC-20 developer to utilize secret VRF just by you know, having a little bit of secret gas and running it in your contract is going to open the world up for these projects, able to randomize their projects and randomize their use cases. We're really opening up. We're not just relying on secret network developers. We want to integrate EVM developers, Ethereum virtu virtual machine. We want to people in the Ethereum ecosystem to utilize secret network in their smart contracts without even realizing that they're getting involved with this project. That's wonderful. Um, you can calculate averages on encryption data. And um, yeah, so we're bringing EVM to um, experience two secret. And the last note I have was we want to become the HTTPS of Web3. Allow that privacy for devs to be able to use to integrate into the platform. So we're going after EVM. We are also, he also mentioned that, you know, there's three ecosystems, three large ecosystems, EVM, so Ethereum, you also have Solana, and you also have Cosmos. You know, we are Cosmos, we are built on Cosmos SDK, and we're integrating IBC hooks very soon, so that's going to increase and allow a lot of additional functionality for developers on Secret Network. And on in the broader Cosmos ecosystem, we're going to Ethereum, and if there's room left over at the end we're also going after solana so we are really becoming an interoperable cryptocurrency which is wonderful because a lot of these projects are siloed if they're not on the same platform and even within the same network if like even erc20 tokens are not really communicating with each other well so we might be able to be the bridge for one erc20 project to another ERC-20 project, if that makes sense. If they want to share some sort of privacy features or interact with each other in a private way, they may use Secret as the bridge for those Ethereum-based projects. Uh, Vitalik talked about privacy, and we have the solutions already, so it's just about executing. So, you know, within the next couple of weeks, the, the next upgrade, there's going to be IBC hooks in, um, integrated, and we are moving at lightning speed. And although the price is decrepit, and who knows, it might drop even more, this project is extremely bullish. The, the call was extremely bullish, and uh, I'm sure they're going to have a repeat and upload it to YouTube. And uh, yeah, it was, a very good, it was a very good Secret Spaces, and I encourage you to visit it and listen, listen to it whenever you have the chance. So if you have any questions below, the validator is Secret Santa, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.